Hey, how's everybody going out there? This is Stumpy Grump from Stumpy Grump Scale Speed Shop. And I have a video for my next project. It's going to be the Revell 1932 Ford 5 Window Coupe 2-in-1 Kit. I'll probably be doing it with the fenders, like the yellow one here. The initial plan for the color was galvanized tin. I need is galvanized tin. And I'm also considering Tamiya X32 titanium silver. So it'd either be like a, a steel color or silver. Okay, and I got some lazy modeler flame masks that I got from Iceman Collections just, just came in. And I'm either gonna do purple, two-tone purple, or two-tone blue flames on this one. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting started on it. So let's take a look at the kit. Okay, so let's start with the decals, the water stickers here. Um, I already cut out some gauges for something else right there. I used them on something else. I, I knew I wasn't going to use them for this build, so I popped them off. I took them off. They're just like white, like these three of them. I probably won't be using hardly anything off this decal sheet, water sticker sheet, uh, license plate, probably. I use license plate. Pretty sure I'll be using one of these remaining sets of gauges. I won't be using any of these pinstripe dealies here. At least not on this kit. Maybe something else. Flames. I plan on having flames on this one, but not these on the water sticker sheet here. So that's that. Pretty good looking water stickers, but I won't be using hardly any. Do a thing with the instructions. Typical Revell, they have all the parts call out. Three pages of parts. Like I said, there's 191 parts in this kit. You build so many different ways. You have two different engine options. Actually, three. This is the same engine, you just have a different induction system. You want the fuel injection for the Ford or if you just want the carbureted air cleaner version, either way. But all through the instructions, there's different ways to build these things as the high boy, as the coupe, mix and match, do it any way you want. It shows you all the wheels and tires you can do, the different suspensions and all that. And you said different, all sorts of different things. High boy coupe, the interior, pretty much the same, except for the dash. You have a dash choice. Steering wheel choice, a couple of different sets of windshields, firewalls, two different firewalls, radiator with or without the fenders. Hood covers with, without. And everything else. Sorry if I blew through there too quickly, but most of you guys aren't interested in the instruction sheet. And water sticker call out if you wanna use them. I'm not. Clean up the mess I made real quick. We'll go to the tires. Nondescript tires. They are no name, nothing on either side. Generic tread. 
I probably actually I know I'm not going to be using these I'll figure something else out but I'm not going to be using these tires clear parts windshield all your other windows headlights and turn indicators Now we're going to go to the chrome parts, a ton of chrome parts on this, just a ton of them. Torque thrusts, five spoke wheels here. I will most likely be using those, just not the tires. And the cool thing with these, you can see, valve stems molded right into them. How cool is that? I did not expect that. These are your headlight bezels and your turn signal bezels. You got your bumpers, windshield frame, gauge, plate there. Second chrome tree, some suspension parts, engine parts for, looks like a Hemi valve covers a couple of different valve cover choices on this one too besides you know for the different engines trim rings center caps Ford center caps and trim rings windshield frame there's the fuel injection and air intake Gas tank, if you're going to use, do the high boy version. And yes, a third chrome tree. Radiator. Engine parts, alternator. More suspension parts. A lot of these are probably going to be stripped. So I don't want them chrome. I'll just paint them. Another set of valve covers, like I said. More suspension parts. Two-piece carburetor. Not sure if I'll use that, but it's definitely going to get stripped if I do. More suspension parts. Disc brakes. Air cleaner. Transmission pan. Headers. Pretty sure I'll be using these headers, but once again, not going to be chrome. So they're going to be stripped. So three chrome trees. Like I said, tons of chrome parts. And we'll go to the engine. This will be the Hemi engine. Engine halves. Oil pan, water pump, belts and pulleys, heads, intake. Not sure if that's the Hemi intake or not, but it's an intake. Dashboard, one of two dashboards. Here's some hoses. Pretty sure that's an oil filter. But here's the second engine. This is the small block 302, I'm going to guess, with the automatic transmission. That's where the transmission pan comes in. Oil pan, heads, hose, radiator, more suspension parts. Springs and shocks, upper hood, engine cover there. This looks like a fuel tank cover. Looks like it. Firewall, smooth firewall. Floor pan, there's the underneath for the chassis and here's the floor pan where the interior goes into with the molded in fuel tank. So I don't know what that is. Another fuel, uh, I don't know. Goes underneath, yeah, it's gonna go there. It's gonna go there. A couple loose parts, cause I got into this kit before to check it out. This has like a grooved firewall 
piece there, as you can see. So two firewalls. We have a steering wheel, belts and pulleys for the small block, electric fan, steering column, the rear end and axle, rear end cover, water pump, power steering, or not power steering, but power brake booster. My bad. Power brake booster. Trying to talk too fast, get through this too fast. Here's the exhaust. Looks like, what, cherry bombs? You might paint those red, bright red. Small drive shaft, short drive shaft, and a shifter. Engine cover and the trunks. These are louvered ones. Really cool looking. I might use these, the louvered ones. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to put flames on it, so I might not use these louvers. Depends on what the flame mask looks like that I'm getting. Smooth trunk, louvered trunk. I may just use the louvered trunk. We'll see. Smooth engine covers. Yet another fuel tank cover for underneath for the, to look at from the chassis view. Another dash. This is where the chrome gauge thing goes in. Fenders. And your step plate. Pretty sure I'm using these. Pretty sure I'm going to use the fenders and the step plate. I'm going to build it as the coupe. That's the plan. All the stuff is really nicely detailed, guys, too. Another set of engine covers. Three sets of engine covers. You have the thinned, you have the smooth, and you have the louvered. Wheel backs for the torque thrust wheels, the five spokes. Intake. Some bumper covers, bumper parts here. The seat, pretty sure you only get one seat though. Just one seat. And fender wells. I want to say that's for the for the high boy if you if you don't add the fenders. And we have the interior parts. Here's the interior tub basically, the floor pan got some texture to it I will probably add some embossing powder as usual over the texture these are your door panels pretty nice you can you you can easily tape those off to two-tone them if you want the other steering wheel and there's radiator piece Lots and lots of pieces to this one. And looks like two sets of tail lights. Two different shapes of tail lights here. Decide which ones you're going to use. I've gotten into these, like I said before steel wheels if you're going to use them with the if you, you use the center cap and the trim rings either or you use them plain steel or use the center cap and or trim ring the wheel backs for that i think that's it other than the body little body here Say everything else goes on to it. Boy, looks like a dark spot right there. I'm not sure what that is. We'll have to make sure and sand that out. It's smooth, but I don't know if it's going to cause an issue as far as paint ad adhesion. But you got a textured roof right here. I will probably paint that black, tape it off, and paint it black. I'm going to try, as you see it does have a separate trunk. I am going to try to, my second attempt, my first one was 
mostly successful. Make hood hinges. I have an opening trunk. So I'm going to try that once again and see if I can do it. And where your firewall goes. I will be deepening the panel lines, of course. I do that on pretty much everything I build. Deepen the panel lines. Doesn't take much time or effort. But hardly any flash on this. Hardly any cleanup at all. So that'll be a breeze. Looking forward to that. But I have an idea. I'm getting a flame mask, a lazy modeler flame mask for the 32 Ford from Iceman Collections. It'll be here in a couple days. And I plan on using that on this. I believe it covers the fenders and the side here. Maybe even the trunk. We'll see. But if I use the louvered trunk, I might, might not use it. And then the engine cover too. So I'm going to take a look at the flame mask. Figure out how I want the flames and decide what I'm going to use for the engine cover and the trunk. But my plan at the moment is Anita's galvanized tin, kind of a lighter gunmetal color, a steel gunmetal type color. And I'm going to do multicolor flames on it. At the moment, I'm thinking either purple or blue multicolored flames and once again the top here will be black so I'll figure out more on the paint job when I see the flame mask it gets here and I, I kind of map it out a little bit to see how I'm gonna do it but I'm looking forward to it looks looks like an awesome kit a lot of fun it looks like so hopefully you guys will follow me along the way and check out my progress videos and how I do things. I'll probably show you how I do the flames. I'll try to show you how I do the trunk hinge here if I'm successful with it and everything else. So hopefully you're interested and you stay tuned and check out the channel. I appreciate all the views, all the likes, and all the comments. Makes me, makes me feel real good that you guys get some useful information out of me. I do what I can. I certainly do what I can. But that's that. Looking forward to getting started on it. Thanks for watching Stumpy Grump Scale Speed Shop YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you later.